Think of your life as a grand narrative, with you as the hero at the centre. Each day, with every thought, decision and action, you're writing this epic tale. But have you ever asked yourself if you're writing a story that uplifts, empowers and propels you toward your greatest potential? In this audiobook, we explore how to understand, harness and change the power of our personal stories to transform our lives. This audiobook will show you how to take control of your life story. It's about taking charge of your life script and becoming the main storyteller of your journey. You have the power to change the plot, turn challenges into opportunities, and shift from a story of limitations to one of endless possibilities. Your current story might be full of doubts, fears, and limitations. It may be a tale of unfulfilled dreams or missed opportunities. But what if I told you that you have the power to rewrite it? What if you could change your story from one of struggle to one of strength, from fear to courage, from settling to passionately chasing your dreams? The process starts with belief. Believing that change is possible, believing in the power of your intentions, and believing in yourself. From there, we take action. In this episode, you'll learn practical ways to change your mindset, rewrite your inner story, and reshape your reality. We will explore storytelling and narrative psychology, learning how the stories you tell yourself shape your thoughts, feelings, and actions. We will look at ways to break down these stories, understand where they come from, and rewrite them to match your goals and true potential. This isn't just about thinking positively. It's about real change. It's about taking control of your story, challenging what's normal, and daring to dream bigger. It's about creating a personal story of success, strength, and happiness. While you're listening, you'll discover lots of helpful tools and strategies to change your story. But the most important thing is, you'll start on a journey of personal growth and development that goes beyond just this audiobook. It's a path that will help you become a better version of yourself in the long run. Think about the story you tell yourself every day. It's an important question. Storytelling has been with humans for a long time. Way back, our ancestors sat around fires, drew pictures on cave walls, and told stories. These stories were passed down through many generations. Stories help us make sense of the world. They can inspire us, teach us, and connect us to others. The stories we tell ourselves shape how we see ourselves and the world around us. They can lift us up or hold us back. So, what story are you telling yourself? Is it one of strength and possibility? Or is it filled with doubts and limitations? Remember, you have the power to rewrite your story. You can choose to focus on the positives and create a narrative that empowers you. Take a moment to reflect on the stories you tell yourself. Are they helping you become the person you want to be? If not, it might be time to change the script. Embrace the power of storytelling to shape your life in a way that brings you joy and fulfillment. Those stories weren't just for fun. They were super important for staying alive. They taught us things, kept track of what happened in the past, and shared smart advice. In every group of people, stories have been super important. They're like the glue that holds us together. From the really old big stories of ancient times to the little ones told quietly at night, stories have helped us make sense of the world around us. When it comes to how our minds work, storytelling is like a super tool. Stories are amazing because they help us understand the tricky stuff in life. They give us a way to make sense of what happens to us and how we feel about it all. It's like having a map to guide us through all the crazy things life throws at us. Imagine life is a big, confusing maze. Sometimes we get lost or feel overwhelmed. That's where storytelling comes in. It's like a flashlight in the dark, helping us see where we're going and understand the twists and turns. When we hear or tell stories, we can relate to the characters and their experiences. We might see ourselves in their struggles or victories. This helps us feel less alone and more connected to others. Science tells us that when you listen to stories... Your brain doesn't just process words. It actually acts like you're experiencing the story for real. It's like your brain is taking a trip into the story itself. 
This connection makes stories really interesting and sticks in your memory for a long time. In your life, the stories you hear shape what you think, what you believe, and how you see things. They might make you believe certain things about people or challenge those beliefs. They can hold you back or give you strength. And when we look at all the stories everyone hears, they can either bring people together or push them apart. Stories can be used to spread certain ideas or make things better in society. The stories a whole group of people believes in can keep things the same or make people start asking questions and wanting change. The stories we tell ourselves are super powerful. They're like a big quilt made up of all our experiences, beliefs and how we see things. These stories help us understand where we've come from and where we want to go. But a lot of the time we don't even realize we're telling ourselves these stories. They just kind of quietly influence the things we do and the choices we make. It's really important to grasp these stories because they can either hold you back or give you strength. They're like the glasses you wear to see yourself and everything around you. Your view of yourself is tightly connected to these stories you believe in. If your story is all about feeling like you're not good enough and always failing, it can end up becoming true because you start acting like it without even realizing. But if your story is about bouncing back from tough times and having lots of potential, it can push you to do amazing things. To start changing these stories, you need to first realize they're there. Take a good look at the stories you tell yourself and figure out which ones help you and which ones don't. Stories can have a big effect in lots of different ways. Many people have found that sharing their stories can help them get through tough times. For example, someone struggling with addiction might find hope in stories about getting better and turning things around. These stories not only give them hope, but also help them understand what they're going through and see a way to get better. Stories are super important for keeping a culture's history and identity alive. For instance, many indigenous groups pass down their history, values and beliefs through storytelling. Stories have also been really powerful in making big changes in society. Take the civil rights movement, for example. People shared their personal stories to show how unfairly African Americans were treated. These stories made people understand the issues better and got them to care and support the movement. In schools and other places where people learn, stories are used a lot because they're really good at helping people understand things. They can take complicated ideas and make them easier to understand and remember. For instance, Jesus told stories called parables to teach important lessons in a way that people could relate to. In therapy, telling stories can also be a way to feel better. People often talk about what's happened to them and how they feel about it to help them understand and start to feel better. Storytelling is a big deal in the business world. Companies use stories to make people like their brand and feel connected to it. Also, in movies and on TV, storytelling can change the way people think about things in society. What you see in movies and shows isn't just a reflection of what people believe, it can actually change what they believe. For example, if you see a lot of good lawyers on TV, you might think being a lawyer is a really awesome job and want to be one when you grow up. Stories are super important in politics and history. They help create a country's identity and what they think is important. You know those crazy theories you sometimes hear about secret plots? Well, they're just stories people made up. Stories can also change how you feel about yourself. If you keep telling yourself you're not good enough, you might start to believe it and feel bad about yourself. But if you tell yourself you're learning and growing, you'll probably feel better about yourself. The stories you tell yourself can really change how you act. If you always see yourself as the person who gets pushed around, you might not try to solve problems and just let things happen. But if you believe you're capable and in charge of your own life, you'll probably try to fix things and stay positive. These stories are super important when it comes to dealing with really tough stuff like trauma. If you keep thinking about a bad thing that happened as something you can never get past, it's going to be really hard to move on. But if you start thinking about how you can bounce back and get better, it can really help you feel better and heal. In the world of work, how you see your career path affects how well you do and how much you like your job. 
If you think of your career as a journey where you're always learning and bouncing back from tough times, you're more likely to enjoy your job and do well at it. How people think about themselves and how they fit into relationships can really affect how those relationships go. I've noticed this a lot. If someone thinks they're just not someone people would want to be around, they might have a hard time making and keeping good relationships. What you tell yourself about who you are can even affect your health. For example, if you believe you can't ever be healthy, you probably won't even try to be healthy. When someone's trying to beat addiction, thinking they'll always be stuck with it can make it really hard to get better. The stories you tell yourself are super important for how you feel mentally. If you keep telling yourself there's no hope, it can make feeling depressed even worse. But if you focus on stories about hope and finding ways to cope, it can help you feel better. And these stories don't just affect your mental health. They can impact everything from how well you do in school to how happy you feel in life. There's a lot to say about how important they are. The stories we hear every day, whether in the news, ads, movies or social media, actually have a big impact on how we think and act. Even though we might not always notice it, these stories are all around us, shaping our ideas and the things we believe in. This has been studied a lot by experts. For example, in 2015, research showed that newspapers have a long history of shaping what people think by the stories they tell. It's been clear for a long time that newspapers can really influence how people feel about big events in history. When I meet people, I can often tell what kind of story they tell themselves about their lives. Some people seem to live like they're in a comedy show. Comedy shows have always been important in showing how families work and also in changing how we think about families. For example, if you look at how families are shown in comedy shows over time, you can see how our ideas about families have changed. In the past, most shows just showed one type of family, like a mom, dad and kids. But nowadays you see all kinds of families on TV, like Modern Family, where there are step-parents, same-sex parents and more. These shows challenge the old ideas about what families should look like and help make the world more accepting of different kinds of families. Think about it. Are you living your life like it's a funny TV show or a serious drama? So, let me ask again. What story do you tell yourself about your life? If you're living your life like a comedy, you might see the humour in everyday situations. You find joy in the little things and don't take yourself too seriously. Laughter becomes your soundtrack, even in difficult times. On the other hand, if your life feels more like a drama, you might focus on the challenges you face. You're determined to overcome obstacles and find meaning in adversity. Every setback becomes a plot twist, driving the story forward. So, take a moment to reflect on the story you tell yourself about your life. Are you the protagonist of a comedy, finding humour in the chaos? Or are you the hero of a drama, facing challenges with courage and resilience? A famous psychologist named Jerome Bruner talked about how we humans understand the world mainly by telling stories. According to him, the stories we tell shape who we are. For instance, someone might see themselves as a success story going from having nothing to being really successful. This story becomes a big part of who they are and affects how they see their life and what choices they make. Bruner said that the way we remember things is shaped by the stories we tell ourselves. When we think back on things that happened, we tend to put them into a story, making them easier to understand. So, when we remember stuff, it's not always like watching a movie of what really happened. It's more like we're making up a story based on what we remember. In school, teachers and students use this idea all the time. For example, when history teachers talk about events from the past, they often tell them like stories with characters, problems and solutions. This makes it easier for students to understand and remember what happened. The way we make stories about what happens is important in law too. Lawyers use stories to help explain what they think happened and to convince the jury. In a court case, both sides tell their own story about what they think happened and these stories really affect what the verdict will be. Stories are also a big deal in how cultures work. 
They're how we pass down what we think is important in our culture, like what's right and wrong, what we believe in, and what we value. These stories shape how people in a culture see the world and where they fit into it. Social media is a whole new world of storytelling. People use it to share stories about themselves and what's happening in the world. It's become a big part of the stories we tell ourselves. But there's a downside to stories. They can be used to change, trick, and even mess with what's really going on. Stories are great for sharing ideas and making sense of things, but they can also be used to trick and lie to people. You can see this happening in lots of places, like in ads, or when politicians try to get people to believe certain things. Think about how stories are used in ads. They often try to make you feel a certain way, like happy or successful, and then connect that feeling with a product. This can make you think that buying that product will make you happy or successful, even if that's not really true. The same thing happens in politics. Politicians use stories to make complicated stuff seem simple, or to make you feel a certain way about something. They might tell stories about people who are having a hard time, or who did something really great to try to get you to vote for them. But sometimes these stories distract from the real issues or important details about what they want to do. The impact of storytelling is huge in media and politics, and it's really important to think about the ethical side of it. Stories can really change how people see things and even how they make decisions. To make sure you're not being tricked by a story, it's important to learn how to think critically about them. Always think about where the story is coming from and why the person telling it might want you to believe it. Check if the source is trustworthy and what they might gain from making you think a certain way. Look into the evidence behind the story and see if there are other points of view that could give you a better understanding of what's really going on. Remember that even if something is true, it's still just a story and it's important to think about why it's being told. Practice thinking critically about the things you hear and learn how to tell if something is credible or not. Do activities that help you think carefully about what you're being told. The downside of stories shows how they can be used to trick and even hurt people, especially when it comes to media, politics, and even your own personal story. Sometimes people can tell you a story about yourself that's not true, just to make you think a certain way or act a certain way. Let me tell you about my friend. She had a hard time with relationships because she always felt like she didn't deserve love, all because of a tough childhood. She believed she was only worth being in bad relationships because of the story she told herself. But then she met someone who had been through similar stuff but thought differently. This person believed in themselves and didn't let their past define them. Seeing how confident and strong her friend was made her realise she could change her story too. So she started to see her own worth and look for relationships that made her feel happy and fulfilled. Every individual is the author of their own life story. It begins with recognising that the power to change the narrative lies within you. You're the one who decides what happens next in your life. You choose the characters, the plot twists and the ending. It's like being the boss of your own adventure. But here's the best part. You have the power to rewrite your story any time you want. If you're not happy with how things are going, you can change it. Maybe you want to add more excitement, more love or more success. It's all up to you. Think about how a caterpillar changes into a butterfly. You can change too, coming out of the tough times caused by the stories you used to tell yourself. Being true to yourself is the most important thing when you're trying to change. Be proud of who you really are and let your story show what you really think, feel and want, not what other people want you to think or feel. Remember where you came from and what you've been through, but don't let it hold you back. Your past doesn't have to decide what happens next. You get to decide what your future looks like. It's like a blank canvas and you're the artist. Think of yourself like a gardener planting seeds in a garden. You have a picture in your head of how you want your garden to look when all the flowers bloom. 
When it comes to growing as a person, think about what kind of qualities you want to grow in yourself. What things do you want to get rid of that are holding you back? When it comes to change, it's important to remember that it doesn't happen overnight. It's not like reaching a destination where you suddenly arrive. Instead, it's more like a journey that takes time. Changing yourself or your life is a lot like a road trip. You might face obstacles, setbacks or moments of doubt, but you have to keep moving forward, one step at a time. It's not always easy, but it's worth it in the end. So be patient with yourself as you embark on this journey of change. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small. And remember, even when things get tough or you're not sure what's going to happen next, keep going. Because every step you take brings you closer to where you want to be. Writing can be really helpful for figuring out who you are and what you want. Try keeping a journal where you write down what you're thinking and feeling every day. It can help you see patterns in your thoughts and understand yourself better. Sometimes you might not even realize that certain stories are influencing how you see things. Trying out meditation can be a way to see these stories more clearly. When you meditate, it's like you're stepping back and looking at your thoughts from far away, which can help you see things more clearly. Another thing you can do is look for stories about people who've gone through tough times and changed their own stories. It could be someone from the past, like a historical figure, or someone you know in real life. Seeing how other people have changed their stories can give you hope and inspiration to do the same. Think of other people's experiences as guiding lights for your own journey of change. Look for stories about regular people who have changed their own stories. These are the people who have faced normal, everyday challenges, but have still managed to turn their lives into amazing stories of success and growth. When you hear about their experiences, it can change the way you see your own journey and how you go about making changes in your life. Let's take a moment to think about Maya's story. She's someone who faced a lot of tough times, but managed to overcome them by changing her story. Her story can inspire us and show us that we can do the same. Maya. She might not be a real person, but she represents a lot of others who've faced tough times and come out stronger. Maya's story starts in a small, poor neighborhood where life was really hard. Since she was little, people told her she couldn't achieve much because of where she came from. They said dreams were something she couldn't even think about. Everyone around her expected her to fail. You might have seen people like Maya in different places. When Maya was a teenager, something really important happened. She met a teacher who believed in her when no one else did. This teacher showed her stories about people who came from backgrounds like hers and still did amazing things. These stories inspired Maya to change her own story. Instead of thinking of herself as someone who was stuck because of where she came from, she started to see herself as the main character in her own story. She worked really hard in school, even staying up late to study, and got a part-time job to help her family. This new way of thinking helped her keep going, even when things got tough. Maya's journey wasn't easy at all. She faced a lot of problems, especially with money, but every time something bad happened, she used it to remind herself that she could get through tough times. Instead of seeing problems as things that would stop her, she started to see them as things she could learn from and grow stronger because of them. And it worked. She got a scholarship to go to a really good university, which was a big deal because no one else in her family had ever gone to college. She did really well in school and ended up with a great job. But what's even more important is that she became a role model for other people in her community. Maya realized that her story could inspire other people, so she started telling it to anyone who would listen. When we talk about rewriting our story, we're talking about changing how we see our own life. Neville Goddard had this idea called revision. It's basically like going back and editing your own story. Think of your life as a big painting, and every moment is like a brushstroke on that painting. But unlike a painting, our lives aren't set in stone. They can change and grow all the time. The idea of revision is based on a simple but really important truth. 
The way we remember things from the past affects how we see things now. Every memory and experience we've had adds to the story we tell ourselves about who we are and what our life is like. Imagine if the memories from our past weren't permanent. What if we could look back on them and see them differently, not to change what happened, but to change how we feel about them? That's what revision is all about. It's about looking back on the things that have really affected us and seeing them in a new light. Instead of thinking of them as things that will always be the same, we can think of them as parts of a story that we can rewrite. By changing how we feel about these past events, we can change how they affect us now. Think about going back to a moment from your past that really changed things for you. Picture yourself there, but this time imagine things happening differently. Maybe you react in a new way, or the outcome is totally different, and you feel new emotions about it. Affirmations can help with this. They're like powerful tools for changing how we think about things that happened in the past. For example, you can take a memory of something going wrong and turn it into a story about how you learned to be stronger and tougher. You can also change how you feel about those past events. Instead of seeing them as things that were really hard, you can think of them as chances to get stronger and better. Doing this can make a big difference in how you see yourself now and where you're headed in the future. When you start using these ideas, you'll notice your life story starts to change. You'll see new chances come up that fit better with the story you're telling yourself now. Your relationships might get better too. Instead of seeing problems as things that stop you, you'll start to see them as chances to make your life even better. Just remember, your life is like a story that's still being written. Every day is a chance to change things, to make them better, and to get closer to the kind of story you want to live. When you start using revision, you're not just changing how you see your past. You're also changing how you live right now and what you want your future to look like. Thinking along these lines, I recently went back to my old writing book and remembered various discussions about how writers rewrite their stories. It occurred to me that these techniques can also be used to rewrite your own life story. For writers, rewriting is a big part of the process, and the methods they use can be really helpful when you're trying to change your own personal story. One important technique writers use is revising the opening scene. They know that how a story starts sets the tone for everything else. They might change where the story begins, introduce an important character earlier, or add something exciting to grab the reader's attention. You can do the same thing with your own story. Think about the beginning of your life story or a specific chapter in your life. How do you see the start of things? Do you focus on what's holding you back or do you see all the possibilities ahead of you? By changing how you think about the beginnings of your own story, you can change how you see the whole journey. Writers spend a lot of time making their characters interesting. They give them all sorts of qualities good ones, bad ones, and ones that change over time. If a character seems boring or one-dimensional, writers will go back and make them more interesting. They might give them deeper reasons for doing things or make them change in a big way as the story goes on. You can do the same thing with yourself. Think of yourself like a character in your own story. Have you changed and grown over time? It's important to recognise the things you're good at and the things you need to work on. Then you can actively try to become the kind of person you want to be. Writers often change the direction of their stories to make them more interesting. If a plot isn't working out, they might add surprises, take out extra storylines, or steer the plot in a different direction. You can do the same thing in your life. If things feel like they're not going anywhere, or you're not happy, think about what changes you could make. Maybe it's time to switch jobs, end a bad relationship, or try something new. Just like a surprise in a book, these changes can lead to new chances and help you grow. Writers often change who tells the story or how they tell it. This can really change how the story feels. When a story is told from someone else's point of view, it can show us things we didn't see before or make us think about things in a different way. You can do the same thing with your own life story. Try to see things from someone else's point of view. How would your story look to them?
doing this can help you understand other people better and see your own experiences in a new light. Writers often work on making the conversations between characters sound just right. They want the dialogue to help the characters grow and move the story along. So they might change the words characters say to make them sound more real and have a bigger impact on the story. You can do something similar in your own life. Think about how you talk to other people and to yourself. Are you saying things that help you grow, or are they holding you back? By improving how you talk, both to yourself and others, you can change your story in a big way. Writers often make their stories more vivid by adding lots of details. They describe things using all five senses, like how something looks, sounds, feels, smells, and tastes. This helps readers really imagine what's happening in the story. You can do something similar in your own life. Pay attention to the little things that happen every day. Notice the small moments, the way things feel, and how they make you feel. By really noticing these things, you can make your own life feel richer and more meaningful. Writers often have to make tough choices and cut out parts of their stories that they really like but don't fit well. They call it killing their darlings. Even though they might love those parts, if they don't help the story, they have to go. You can do the same thing with your own life. Think about the things you're doing or believing that don't really help you anymore. Maybe it's a habit, a belief, or even a relationship. If these things are holding you back, it might be time to let them go. This can help you focus on what's really important and make your life story even better. Another important thing to think about when it comes to stories is how they're put together. There are certain formulas, structures, and patterns that writers use to make their stories work. When you understand these frameworks, you can see the hidden patterns in your own life story. This can help you change and improve your story in a better way. One of the most well-known story frameworks is called The Hero's Journey. This idea was made famous by Joseph Campbell. It's like a roadmap for stories, with different stages like getting a call to adventure, facing challenges, and then coming back changed. It's really helpful for thinking about your own life as a journey of growth and learning. Just like in stories, you go through ups and downs, facing challenges and coming out stronger on the other side. Another common way stories are organised is called the three-act structure. This is a basic format used in a lot of books and movies. It's like a roadmap for the story, broken into three main parts. First, there's the setup, where the characters and the main problem are introduced. Then comes the confrontation, where the characters have to face the problem head on and deal with it. Finally, there's the resolution, where the problem gets solved. You can think of your own life in a similar way. You face challenges, deal with them, and eventually, things get resolved. It's like going through different stages in your journey. There's another story structure that's really popular. It's called the Cinderella Arc. You've probably heard of it before. It's like the classic rags to riches tale where the main character starts out in a tough situation but ends up making a big change for the better. You see this kind of story a lot in fairy tales and stories about people who've become successful despite facing big challenges. It's all about overcoming tough times and making your life better in a big way. And you know what? This kind of story can also reflect the ups and downs we go through in our own lives. There are also some newer story structures that are pretty cool. One of them is called Overcoming the Monster. It's all about facing a big, tough challenge and beating it. Whether that challenge is something outside of you, like a big, scary monster, or something inside, like a fear or addiction. In real life, this could be about facing your fears head-on beating an addiction or dealing with a really tough situation. It's all about showing that you're strong enough to take on whatever life throws at you and come out on top. Take a moment to think about your life story. Is it more like a tragedy or a comedy? In tragic stories, the main character often falls because of a big mistake or a flaw they can't overcome. But in comedic stories, things are lighter and funnier, even when there are challenges. 
When you look at your own life, you might notice patterns that remind you of these kinds of stories. Maybe there have been times when things felt really tough, like in a tragedy, or times when you could laugh at the ups and downs, like in a comedy. These patterns can affect how you see the world and the choices you make, and they can even change how things turn out for you in the end. When you learn about different story formulas and structures, it can help you understand your own life story better. You can see which patterns your life follows and think about whether they're helping you or holding you back. For example, if you notice that you're stuck in a pattern that's making you unhappy, like always feeling like the underdog, you might decide it's time to change things up. Understanding these patterns can give you the insight you need to start a new chapter in your life story, one that's more positive and fulfilling. Throughout history, writers from all corners of the world have emphasised the incredible impact of stories. For instance, J.K. Rowling once mentioned, The stories we cherish deeply stay with us forever. Isaac Dinesen believed, Every person has a unique story to share. It's part of being human. Flannery O'Connor expressed, Sometimes a story is the only way to convey a complex idea, and every word matters. Muriel Rukeyser pointed out, Stories shape our understanding of the world around us more than anything else. Joan Didion reflected, We use stories to make sense of our lives. And Ben Okri highlighted, Stories have the power to overcome fear and inspire courage. These quotes remind us of the profound influence stories have on our lives and the world around us. So if you want to change your story, use these affirmations as a jumping off point to begin the process of changing your own personal narrative. Say these with me. Every day, I am the one who decides how my life story unfolds. With each sunrise, I add another page to my journey, one filled with strength and purpose. I let go of old stories from my past that no longer help me and look ahead to a future full of endless possibilities. My story is written with bravery and hope. Every word shows my resilience and determination. I'm intentional about what I want, focusing on my dreams with unwavering dedication. And as I write, I remember to be kind and gentle with myself, as well as with others. Every experience I have is a chance to learn and grow. Challenges become triumphs in my story, and each obstacle I overcome adds to my success. I choose to think positively, ensuring that the words I say to myself lift me up. In my interactions with others, I offer love and respect, knowing that meaningful relationships bring joy and fulfilment. When I succeed, I celebrate those moments, recognizing them as milestones on my journey. Even when I'm scared, I find the courage to face my fears head on. They become stories of bravery and resilience. And my passions? They're like guiding stars, leading me forward with inspiration. But I also know the importance of stillness, of taking a pause to reflect and recharge. And above all, I write my life's purpose with clarity and conviction, aligning my actions with my deepest values and dreams. Every day I rewrite my story to focus on my strengths, not my weaknesses. Instead of doubting myself, I choose to believe in my abilities and my worth. Challenges become chances for me to learn and become stronger. I make sure to be grateful for every experience, even the tough ones, because they help me grow. When faced with tough times, I remind myself of my resilience. I choose courage over fear, embracing new opportunities and changes in my life. My story isn't just about what happens to me. It's about what I make of those experiences. I'm on a journey of self-discovery, always learning new things about myself and the world around me. I refuse to see myself as a victim. Instead, I'm in control of my own life. Forgiveness is important to me, both for myself and for others, because it leads to healing and peace. Every chapter of my story is filled with positivity, optimism and hope. I see each moment as a chance to learn and grow. And through it all, I want my story to inspire others, showing them that change and progress are always possible. What story are you currently telling yourself about your life? Maybe it's a story of struggle, failure or lack. 
but now is the perfect time to change that story. You have the power to write a new one. Imagine your life as a book. Every day you write a new page. Sometimes the pages are filled with tough times and mistakes. That's okay. Everyone has those chapters. But you don't have to keep writing the same story. Imagine a story where you are successful, loved, happy, joyful, and fulfilled. With this meditation, you can start to believe in this new story and make it your reality. Take this moment to reflect and decide what kind of story you want to live. You deserve a life filled with all the good things you dream about. Let's start creating it today. Thank you for listening.